hey what's up guys and welcome to another color grading video and today we're going to be trying to create a sort of like a blockbuster look using blumetri color only so here is what we're going to be doing Alright, the footage that we're gonna be color grading was shot on the Lumix GH5 10 bit color 422 and 8 bit as well 420. And the picture style I used is Vlog L. So, this is a combination of 8 bit and 10 bit, but we're gonna color grade them seamlessly. If you're watching this video on YouTube or Facebook, this is one of the videos from our color grading course called Color Grading Pro Max. So, other tools like how to read and use Lumetri scopes picture styles or how Lumetri color works, loops and how certain color grading plugins work. I might not go deep into those because I have already explained them step by step, two by two in the main course. So here I'm just going to give you techniques, workflows, tips and tricks of how these tools and plugins work on a real project. So if there is something that you don't understand or maybe want to know how maybe the Lumetri color works or how certain things have come into being, Check out the course after this video. The link is in the description or in the comment section. So back to the video. The first thing we shall do is to convert the flat profile into a standard look using Lumetri color only. Secondly, I will reduce the highlights in the background. Thirdly, I'm going to add our grading. As you can see, our grading is everywhere. So finally, I'm going to add a contrast to our image. So without wasting time, let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to go to the Lumetri scopes and make sure the waveform is selected. Then I'll go to the Lumetri color panel, basic correction, and I'll start with contrast. Push it all the way to 150. Then come to the blacks and push it all the way to somewhere around negative 80. Then the whites to somewhere around maybe 20. Then I'm going to increase the exposure to maybe 0.8. Then go to the highlights, maybe to negative 53. Then the shadows, maybe to somewhere around 32 to bring back some of that contrast. If you look at the waveform, you will notice that the picture is bright, but it is not hitting the 100 IRE. This is because there are no whites in the image. In fact, I shot this video almost at twilight. There was nothing that was as bright. So it is okay if the graph is not hitting the 100 IRE. As long as it is just above the zero IRE, we are good. Now, I feel like I still need to add a bit of contrast to the image. So I'll go to the curves section, RGB curves, and I'm going to create an S curve on the Luma channel like this. Next, I'm going to make sure the white balance is correct. So I'm going to go to the white balance, then pick white balance selector and select anything that is white in the image. In this case, this house was white. Select it and continue to adjust by moving the temperature and tint sliders. The color and tone correction is done. You can see the before and after. Now, if you look at the image, it seems washed away. There is no contrast because there is so much highlights in the background. We were on top of the mountain, so some of the light was cast so much in the background. So what I'm going to do is to reduce the highlights in the background without affecting our main subject. To do that, I'm going to add another instance of Lumetri color and I'm going to go straight to the HSL secondary. And what I'll do is I'm going to key out our main subject. So I'll pick the set color eyedropper and select her face. Then use the set color add eyedropper to select many portions of her face and the jacket. Let me check this color gray box so that I can see the key better. You can use these sliders to make sure you have a perfect key. Once she's perfectly keyed out, I'm going to press the picture icon button to invert the selection, which means that any changes that I'm going to do will affect everything but her. On the refine section, I'm going to push denoise to 10 and blur maybe to somewhere around 20. Then on the color wheels, I'm going to reduce the highlights a bit and also the mid tones a bit. Then I'm also going to reduce the temperature to make the background a little bit cooler, maybe to somewhere in negative 15. 
If you want, you can also increase the saturation or make the background completely black and white but still keeping our main subject in color. Let me undo that. And here is the before and after. You can see we have removed some of those highlights in the background. Now our main subject is popping out a bit better. And if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, like and share for more videos just like this one. Next, we shall add our color grading. So let me add another instance of Lumetri color. Then I'll go straight to the creative section and I'm gonna add a look. Using this loot code Chamois, you can download it in the description or in your download resource folder. I'm going to reduce the intensity to 70%. Then I'm gonna to go to the HSL secondary. I'm gonna key out our main subject again, just like before. So I'll pick the set color eyedropper and select her face. Then use the set color add eyedropper to select many portions of her face and the jacket. Check this color gray box so that I can see the key better or use these sliders to make sure I have a perfect key. Once she's perfectly keyed out, what I'm gonna do is to press this picture icon button to invert the selection. On the refine section, I'm gonna push the noise to 10 and maybe blur to somewhere around 10 as well. Now the grading we are going for is very simple. I'm just gonna give the background a blue tint so that it can create a good color contrast with her red jacket. Blue and red are kind of opposite colors so they really create good contrast. So I'm gonna go straight to the temperature and reduce it all the way to somewhere around negative 60. Then I'm gonna reduce the highlights a bit. On the mid-tones, I'm just gonna push the colors to the bluish direction. And on the shadows as well, I'm just gonna push the colors to the bluish direction and maybe reduce the shadows a bit. And what I'll also do is to increase the contrast of the background, maybe to somewhere around 10, and also boost the saturation maybe to somewhere around 137. Yeah, here. We're almost done with our color grading. You can see the before and after, but it looks a bit washed out and a little bit too blue for my liking. So let me sort that out by adding another instance of Lumetri color. Then I'm gonna go to the basic correction. And to take away some of that washed away look, I'm gonna just reduce the shadows maybe to negative 68, somewhere here. Then maybe I can also add some tint to the image, maybe to somewhere around maybe 8.3 three somewhere there then i'm gonna go to the creative section and increase the sharpness to somewhere around 30 and also increase the vibrance maybe to somewhere around 28. this is a music video not a film so we need lots of colors let me change the lumetri scopes from waveform to vector scope yuv i can see the rays here are almost coming out from this border Make sure all your colors stay within this line. So to fix that, I'm gonna go to the curves section, then hue saturation curves, then hue versus saturation. Pick this eyedropper and select the red color because it is the ones which are all the way up and reduce its saturation. This will reduce only the reds from the image. And I'm just gonna leave it here. I think we are done. Here is the footage before and we did the color correction. We worked on the background highlights. We added our grading and this is the final look. Like I always say, I was just trying to show you some techniques, different controls, tips and tricks so that you can apply them when you are doing color grading to your videos. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next color grading video. This is it. Peace.